If you have a teenager, the chances are good they've played Fortnite. In fact, a recent study found 6 out of 10 teens played the online shooter game in 2018, turning it into a massive cultural phenomenon. It soon became apparent as far as tech goes, nothing could compete. Kids needed to escape, and Fortnite was their virtual world. And that was a big mistake. Well, their need to escape could be because the societal cost of technology got very real in 2018. Early in the year, Facebook, with over 2 billion worldwide users, got hauled before Congress to explain the meaning of privacy. Would you be comfortable sharing with us the name of the hotel you stayed in last night? Um, uh, no. I think that might be what this is all about. It was a watershed moment for anybody with an online presence. A British political consulting firm was able to access the personal data of 87 million Facebook users, leading to questions about privacy and whether we had any to begin with. We really started uh, seeing the proof of how our data was being collected and sold to the highest bidder, how it was uh, being manipulated, how that information was becoming a form of currency and in a lot of ways being used against us. Free apps like Facebook, we learned, weren't so free after all. Our data is used for targeted advertising, both commercial and political. The backlash against the biggest collectors of data has already begun. The French government ditched Google for Quant, a search engine that doesn't track its users. And in Toronto, Google-owned Sidewalk Labs came under heavy scrutiny for what it would do with information gathered in its still-in-development waterfront neighborhood. And then there's the 5G network, which is expected to connect everything. Well, the change that's on the horizon with 5G is that everything, uh, everything can talk, right? This is where that notion of the Internet of Things and, and connected lives where your refrigerator talks to your smartphone, which talks to your uh, thermostat, which talks to your car, and everything is talking and everything is sharing information and everything becomes that much more efficient. But again, privacy is a major concern. Whoever installs the network will get to monitor it. And as we saw at the end of the year, much of the Western world is worried 5G leader China will use Huawei to gain influence and intelligence on everyone else. How do I get Amazon to take notice of Kansas City? So privacy concerns are red hot, but that hasn't cooled down the growth and future of tech. All year long, North American cities vied for Amazon founder Jeff Bezos' attention after the online giant announced plans for a second headquarters. The prize? 30,000 high-paying tech jobs to go along with billions in tax revenue. In the end, Amazon decided to take billions in incentives from Washington and New York. The lure of a high-tech future is proving to be expensive, both in dollars and cents.